I quit the Pokemon TCG, and here's why. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an Obsidian Flames opening. It will be boyfriend versus girlfriend, just a quick one today. So let's see what we have. So we're going to open two packs of Obsidian Flames side by side and see who gets the better pause. It has been a little while since we've done the card opening, especially Pokemon cards, but we shall find out if my luck can turn around. So, just do three from the back. One, two, three, two, four. You know what? No order today. Right, so first of all, we have an, one of the new Pokemon, I can't pronounce the name. Toxtricity, Water Energy, Tarbell, I really don't know any of these new Pokemon. I do know that one though. Yep, and Wooba. Right, getting up to the rare stuff now. What's it gonna be? Buffalon, very nice. Mmm. Gambit, Gambit, Litwick. And that was it. Okay. Right, let's see if I can do any better. Right, so gonna start with Etogapi, lovely artwork. Bondsley, getting all the babies. A dolly. Timple. Trevent. And that's a new one to me. Belly Bolt, very cool. Flamigo. Very cool. Reverse rare electric. Um, another reverse, a reverse rare toxel. And then a hollow sizzle. Or just one more at the back. And a fire engine. -y. So I guess the best one there was our scissor. So not the best um, opening, but there you go. Obsidian Flames, done. So as you can probably tell from that clip, I wasn't very enthusiastic. I wasn't very excited about opening cards like I usually would be. And it's not just a point of not pulling anything good. That is a contributing factor. However, I feel it's just a bit of Pokemon fatigue. Now, fatigue can be felt in a lot of things, but especially in collecting, there's just too much overwhelmingness there's too many products out there it's just very overwhelming because you don't know what to go and collect you don't know you don't really know what to go for and yourself you're like it's hard to be restricted and hard to be a bit more disciplined and i only like this one so i'm only going to go for that or you know what nothing's really tickling that fancy for me right now so i'm not going to go and engage in picking everything up i'm not going to go engage with that because i just don't like it as much as other products out there so essentially this video is just about my Pokemon fatigue and I'm going to quit Pokemon TCG for a little while. There's just so many sets out there. Recently 151 was released in the UK which has been brilliant, there's been a lot of hype around it and it's all over my algorithm so I'm constantly seeing it all over the place. But I am just going to step back a little bit and say no for, for, for now, at least for now anyway. However, it's not meant to be a doom and gloom kind of video. It's just meant to present to people that it's okay if you don't want to collect everything. Not everyone's got the, the interest or the money or the finances or the want to collect everything. And I think that's a really important thing that sometimes you have to think, I don't need it and I don't want it, so I'm going to miss this and maybe something that comes out later, maybe I'll pick it back up. But as of right now, I do quit the Pokemon TCG. However, what I would like to show you is something very exciting I've never done on the channel before and only a few people have ever seen this I'm going to show you my Pokemon collection so I have three binders in total I have a set binder and I have a special binder both in Voltexes and I've got a smaller binder just for trades so what I would like to do now in the next part of this video is to go through those binders and show you my aims of my Pokemon collection and what I want to finish and being a bit more streamlined and things and showing you what kind of Pokemon I like in that kind of regard. So I'll see you in just a minute. So here we are, let's begin. This is my set binder. Now the first set I ever started collecting when I got back into Pokemon cards was in 2017 in a set called Shining Legends. My aim for this set is to complete a master set, which is every card reverse hollow. Now, obviously I've got most of the pools, most of the big ones. A really selling point in this set was the shining cards, especially being shiny legends. You can see shining Genesect just there. 
uh, that was a big draw to the card and watching uh, Pokemon tubers like um, Unlisted Leaf go after this set. I was like, you know what, this is a great start for me to go back into TCG. This is a set that I really like the cards, especially being an homage to Neo uh, Genesis and Neo Destiny. So like I said, there's so many varieties and variations of this one Pikachu card uh, that have been used again. So this is would be a complete master set. So this is this is the set I'm aiming for. By the time I finish, I would love to um, completely. There's the Mew, Shining Mew, Shining Jirachi, like I was saying, those Amish Shine Legends. But like I was saying, this is a set that I desperately want to complete a master set for. And will be the only set I can ever complete a master set for. But there's so many, you know, when do you ever see a, you know, a shiny Rayquaza like that? You know, shiny legendaries, just like that. In kind of normal cards as well, not full arts, literally just the basic cards, but these are your rares. So, but then don't get me wrong, this set does, you know, blend a few of the modern stuff. So, you know, this is the Ultra Rare Mewtwo GX and some of the other cards as well, but that's probably one of the hardest Pokemon to, hardest cards to pull, so I'm happy to have that in the collection. You know, I've been working on this for, you know, about four years now, and uh, only recently, as my Pokemon knowledge has got me a bit more in tune with the hobby, I can now spot fakes, so there was times when I did buy from eBay uh, singles and did get fakes, so for example, this one here, this one's a fake, so that's why it's been marked with a piece of paper to replace at some point. And one day I will replace it, and then at least the set it would complete, but then I'll go on to complete the mass set. And I just love this double page spread of the energies and the reverse energies on the other side. I just think that's a really cool aesthetic. It was hard getting them in numerical order, especially with a four by, you know, four and three binder. So that's why I've arranged it the way it is. So it might not be in set numbers, but I do like the way it's presented. So that is the Shining Legend set. Let's move on to something else. Oh yes, there's some bonus cards as well. The promo cards from Shiny Legends. I tell you, I'm committed to completing a set at some point. Like, really committed. Uh, another set um, I was a little bit late for uh, when first getting back into TCG was Evolutions X and Y. Obviously, the base set reprint um, got a few of the cards. Not all of them. Uh, some of the harder cards to complete I managed to get in here. Um, you know, the Charizard especially, and Reverse Hollow too. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. I'm not looking to master set this at all, not in the slightest, really not. I'm just happy to try and get all, you know, if I see spares lying around at card shops, I'll just pick them up, but it's always hard to remember what you have and don't have, unless you have it written on your phone, which is something I don't really do. But look at this artwork all the way, that base set artwork is fantastic. It's a joy actually going through binders. I used to keep my Pokemon cards in a box and I couldn't appreciate them. So actually putting them in a binder is actually, it's just wonderful to actually truly appreciate these cards for what they are now. I apologise for the glare of the light as well. I know it's not probably not the most idealist way to enjoy these cards. But I hope you're getting a bit of enjoyment like I am just now, just seeing the cards really. But yeah, so Pokemon X and Y, I'll pick cards up if I know I need them. Uh, you know, I'll try, you know, that page is nearly complete. And then obviously you had these, you know, special cards too. And yeah, so that was uh, Evolutions, way off from complete that set, but maybe one day. It's not a necessity, but maybe one day. This was a fun set last year. So me and some friends, we opened some trick or treat packs. And we actually got some really good pulls. I know this year's bring some more trick or treat packs for Halloween, but Look at these, you know, we've got Gengar, we've got Mewtwo, you know, Mimikyu, Trivet. we've got loads. But, you know, I think we've got the best pulls, you know, we all had a pack each and we all pulled them. It was just really fun. Uh, so that's kind of a special one because the friends opening that one. I do like that, it's a special set. But I won't be going into it anymore. That was just a once in a, once in a blue moon, let's just pick up some packs and just have fun with it. That was, that was good. So that'll be a partially completed set, but completed in my eyes. Then we move on to a set that I actually have completed. So this is a special Pikachu page. We got special energy with the Pikachu in the icon in the corner. The McDonald's Pikachus from last year's set. I do have the Pikachu from this year as well, which is really lucky to get. Uh, one of my favourite um, Pokemon from Celebrations, the birthday Pikachu, when I first started opening Pokemon cards. A uh, special promo as well. 
uh, yeah, so this is like a bit of a Pikachu appreciation page leading on to this next set, which, I, which I'm very happy to show you. So we have a complete set of Pokemon Celebrations, Pokemon 25th um, special set. So we have absolutely every single card. This is actually a series, early days of the channel, um, going through all of those packs, trying to fill in the set, because it's not a very large set. But here's some of the top cards. Now, Shiny Mew didn't pull it himself, had to buy a single, and same with Charizard, had to buy it uh, online eventually. But all the rest here, uh, bar the um, Umbreon, I did actually manage to pull these. So, this was a really fun set to open. You only got four cards in a pack, and that final card was your hit. But this is really fun. It's a small set, pays homage to 25 years of Pokemon and different cards and eras and generations. And it's nice to see older cards and artwork reprinted. It's nice to appreciate that. So, yeah, what a set. And then, obviously, some of the promos. I didn't end up getting the gold promos. I just think they're very expensive for what they are. I'm quite happy with my completed celebration set, the main set. And then we go on to add some more pages left in the set binder. So I thought, oh, you know what? I've, I've opened some Pokemon Go in the packs recently. I'll, I'll just see what I can get here. So, just some very basic um, Go cards. I, I am a massive Pokemon Go player. You know, I fell out of love for it. I started in 2016, fell out of love for it. And then came back into it probably about lockdown, so 2021. But, um, yeah, it, it's a cool set. One of my favourite Pokemon and my strongest Pokemon on the game is Slacking. That has a very special place in my heart for a, a very personal reason of Slacking. So, it's nice to have him in the Pokemon Go set. And yes, I believe that completes, yes it does, that completes our set binder. So, like I say, my mission, complete Shining Legends master set, maybe evolutions, but that's as far as I'm really going in terms of completing sets, I'm not that kind of person, but Shining Legends, one day I will complete that. So, hope you enjoyed that, stick with it, because I'm going to show you a very special binder. Now here we go, this is a very special binder. Uh, vintage fans, you're going to love some of the cards in here, but let's get straight into it. So, this is a very special binder where I put my most special and favourite cards in. Now, this binder is basically pretty full now, so excuse the pages turning a little bit. So, we're going to start with some uh, vintage cards. Uh, special energy up there from Hard Gold Soul Silver. I just thought it was going to fit in. I do try and order these by, you know, sets, so Gym Challenge, Gym Heroes. Uh, but I like to order these by energy, so these are all the grass Pokemon. And then we're moving on to fire. But there's just such cool cards in here. That Venusaur, that promo Venusaur, that's awesome. So during when I was getting back into the hobby, what I tended to do was go for a lot of Japanese cards. Just the rares in Japanese, because they're a lot cheaper, they're in very good quality, and I quite like the border as well. So, you will see quite a few Japanese cards in here mixed in, but I want to try. You got the Legendary Collection, Charmander. Like I say, it's just a binder to appreciate um, cards that I like. And I think everyone, if you are a Pokemon card collector, no matter sets and things, maybe start a binder of things that you just enjoy, whether that's just one Pokemon. You'll see a little bit later on down the line, there'll be specific pages for. You'll see specific pages um, for certain Pokemon that are my favourites, and they'll have a whole page dedicated. And look at these Blastoise, the Dark Blastoise, that promo again. I really just enjoyed those promos, they were brilliant. And then we're moving on to Mystic Gyarados, Shining Magikarp, you know, from Neo Destiny, Neo Genesis. These two, I really enjoy these two. These two are fantastic cards. You know, quite pricey now, but when I managed to get them, uh, especially, thank God they were real. Um, that was a nice surprise to say the price I got them for. But this is the thing with Pokemon cards, the value will only increase with age. And I'm not really looking for value. Yeah, I know there's some cards in here that can be seen as a little bit valuable. I'm not a, a grader either. I don't really want to grade cards. I, I love this this artwork for Sabrina's Gengar. I really enjoy the art. And I don't want to put it in a slab. I enjoy the card being presented as binder, we can actually appreciate them. Uh, you know, oh, this is one of the vending machine cards. 
um, series that I quite like because you don't see any cadavers until recently because of the Yori Geller, I believe it was, um, stopped the um, infringement, so stopped this Pokemon from having any more cards. But he is now back in modern sets, which is nice to see. That Mewtwo. It's just very hits and nostalgia in here. Going on the playground in primary school and seeing everyone with big stacks of Pokemon cards like need, 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 got, 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 swap, it's that kind of thing. Taurus is pretty. But I'm getting a bit flustered for words now. I haven't actually been through this binder in about six months, so it's nice to see. Snorlax, you know, an absolute favourite. Again, there's a vending machine card that I really enjoy here. I don't know, it just looks so like a child's painted it on paint, essentially. I just really enjoy that card, so yeah. Snorlax is, is one of those that's up there, so he gets a bit of appreciation. And then we've got some more common cards, we've got some dark cards, we've got a rocket set. I just really enjoy the idea of uh, light and dark Pokemon. It reminds me of my favourite Pokemon game of all time, Pokemon Coliseum. Like, not everyone's played that, and XD Gala Darts is a fantastic Pokemon game as well. But I just love the rokeness of it all. It's not, um, I wouldn't say it's child friendly, but it's a bit more mature themes in the story. Ah, this is a special page. This is what I call the movie page. So the promos from the movie. This card from childhood. Um, it looks great in the binder, but trust me, it is uh, badly creased and wrinkled up. But yeah, it's got some bad damage to it. But that's my childhood, and I was able to keep this card for 20, well, over 20 years now. So it's nice that it takes the crown jewel in this um, Pokemon movie page, which I really enjoy these cards. Okay, now we're moving on. Now this is one complete set. Um, sorry, I remember opening this specific pack in a Morrison's car park at a time. And I can't remember what the set was. I don't know if it's Sky Ridge, you can correct me in the comments, but I remember pulling this mold and thinking, oh my God, this is brilliant. And it's Heracross and just getting really excited about it. And uh, yeah, just, that, that's just the memory on a page, just like some of the others are, some of my favorites. And then we get to some older cards, some older cards, which I just quite like in general. Like I said, I'm not an expert, I won't know all the sets, but I do like the cards. And yeah. So I know this set here is Delta. So these are Pokemon cards in which the Pokemon are different typings than they usually are. I can't quite remember what the set's called. But the unique gimmick is all these Pokemon that you know, that's Horsey, which would usually be a water type, is now fighting type. I just think that's a really cool gimmick for cards to swap the typings and to be drawn in different ways. It's quite clever. Then we go. This is I love this transition. We go from we go from dark and light, the evolutions, and then we jump into modern day. We go from vintage to modern day, and we've got all the evolutions here. All nice lined up. That's why I like nine, you know, nine pocket binders, three by three, because you can do really cool things like this with them. Uh, a little bit more than four, as you can with that set one. That's why I chose my special cards being a nine, because you can really play with the layout and make something quite cool. So I just love all the evolutions surrounding the Eevee, which is great. Anyway, time to move on to modern. If you've watched the Japan haul video, you'll see the Japanese cards I got. Some special ones here. Uh, cards I've never seen before. That's Mew and this Mewtwo. Uh, basic Gyarados. And I'm keeping the yen prices on just because it's a reminder of when I was there, how much I brought them for. And it just takes me back to that really special trip to Japan when Pokemon cards were not easy to find. Most of these I have pulled. Like this is a beautiful one from um, V Star Universe. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you actually remember when these were pulled and the gasping and the shots and excitement from it all. But a lot of these are um, Shining V Star Universe, not Shining V Star, uh, V Star Universe's Japanese celebration set pulls. And my partner got the double Charizard, that's a memory. That's what I'm saying, memories on a page and 
you know, I am running out of room now, so I am finding it hard to organize certain cards to go together. I think maybe a page, like this is a reverse hollows page, which is cool and that is great, but maybe as my taste and change in my collection grows, I need to look somewhere else to put reverse hollows. But we'll see, we'll see. It's really, it's really um, subjective whether or not these find a new home or not. But maybe, depending on if my collection ever expands and I want to showcase some more pulls and favourite cards, that's what I'll do. Honestly, I'm not a very lucky person when it comes to Pokemon cards, so a reverse hollow can be the hit for me. Um, it just is. Pokemon cards, as I was saying with the fatigue in the beginning of the video, it is like gambling. You don't know what you're going to get. So just enjoy what you do get and appreciate cards. Anyway, we're getting into some more exciting stuff now. Uh, some shining, you know, shining charger bug from Universe. Again, or Radiant, shall I, should I say? Radiant Ninja 2. And then this one's like just a step up each time, which is lovely. Right, I think these are called Amazing Rares. And these, the background, the multicolor background just pops off the card. And there's only nine um, made in a certain set, which escapes me right now. But, you know, you've got really impressive cards like Rayquaza and Jirachi. And you've got this beautiful, vibrant rainbow colors popping off the cards. They remind me of the vintage cards, but with that... Um, the spiciness and that colourful vibrance of something new so that's an appreciation page as well for that one there now we're moving on to something special so most of these are trainers and gold cards um, again if you follow the channel you'll know where a lot of these have come from or when they've been opened and thank you for sticking around to this video I, mean, you know, I hope you are appreciating these cards and and if you enjoy Pokemon and you want to collect everything, you know, go for it, power to you. But right now, I'm just having a little break from Pokemon, uh, TCG in general. The Mew, this was a very special card though. That Moltres V was, whew, that's a beautiful card right there. A beautiful card. Which, uh, unfortunately, it was a single that I had to buy. However, I got it at a good price, so I ain't going to complain. Galar Farm's pretty cool. Now, these... Um, so just looking at this page, you wouldn't think these Pokemon cards are Pokemon cards. You'd think there must be something from like One Piece or Dragon Ball Z. But they're illustrations, and I like these from... This is what really drew me to V-Star Universe, because you could get cards like this. And they're not monetary, you know, they might not have that monetary value, but they do tell a story. Um, and there's little hidden details in them uh, when inspecting the cards. So that's what kind of draws me, like, I've mentioned this before, but this Mew reminds me of the Mew on the lily pad from uh, a much older set, or actually in XY Evolutions, they brought that back. But, like, they have they have homages and callbacks to older cards, and the more you look at it, the more you see, and it's, uh, it's kind of the card that just keeps on giving, which, um, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a very, it's in its league of its own, these Pokemon cards, they're very special. Right, now we're kind of going on to appreciation pages. So, this is, I love Lapras. Lapras is a, a majestic Pokemon that I really enjoy. And I remember finding my first ever Lapras in my own city in Pokemon Go. So I've got a few vintage and a few newer cards. Uh, one of the, I pulled this full art card in lockdown. So I think that's kind of what, like, oh my gosh, Lapras. It was the first time I ever pulled a full art um, Pokemon card. So it got me very, very excited. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do Lapras and Justice, and I'm going to fill in the Lapras page. And that was the newest addition to the Lapras page from the Universe set. Yeah, there's a couple of different cards here, but eventually this will be a Lapras appreciation page, and Lapras will get to shine in its full glory. Moving on. Oh, I still have some vintage cards in here. Oh, so this, I think, is my Johto page. So, I love the Legendary Beasts. Suicune, Entei, and Raikou, especially from Pokemon Colosseum, that's what I've got my love. And Pokemon Crystal, actually being able to find a roaming Suicune and put it in my Master Ball, that was exciting. Yeah, so this is like a Johto appreciation page. Doesn't matter what era, so this is the Lugia V, pulled from Silver Tempest. The best pull I probably ever got, ever, ever, ever got. 
a spare shining celery from Shining Legends, and then a ho ho, ho, -ho to match either side. I think that's a really, I think I, I love this page. I love this Johto splash page, and Lugia being one of a favourite of mine too, especially from XD Gale of Darkness. But an old Lugia I found for just ten p, an old card shop we used to have here, a Japanese Lugia. I can't remember if it's Neo Destiny or Neo Genesis, you'll have to correct me, but it's a beautiful art, beautiful. Um, again, very lucky to have this in my collection. Like I said, I'll never grade these cards, but I enjoy these cards, and that's what it's all about. And then another Lugia from... I need to stop saying from, because I really don't know where these sets are from. I just enjoy the cards. I just enjoy the cards, and that's what I'm here for. So yeah, that's my Johto appreciation page. And then, another card that needs that appreciation is Dragonite. So this is my Dragonite appreciation page. There's a few cards as well sprinkled in there just for fun until I can find somewhere else for them to go. But yeah, you've got a dark Dragonite, you've got a light Dragonite. Now this is actually the light Dragonite, it's an Italian card. Same artwork, same basic thing, apart from a different language. Just really, really enjoyed it. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I don't really care about whether I go for a different language card. If it's something, if it's the card I'm, I'm after, I'm not going to read the moves and stats. I, I'm really not into that. But as long as it's the same artwork and it's obviously real, then I'll go for it. So there's a dark and light um, juxtaposition there, the Dragonites. Uh, pulled this one from Pokemon Go set. It could go in a Pokemon Go set, but it belongs in the Dragonite page. Again, this from XY Evolutions, this is a beautiful Dragonite card. I'm not going to put it in the set because I appreciate it in, in here. And then another one too. And then another one too. These are some um, vintage ones. I love that holographic rate. I told you, I just enjoy rainbow holographic cards. I think they're absolutely cool. May not be a much fan of a ra the rainbow cards they do. But if you put a rainbow holographic on a vintage card, mm -mm, that, that's the way to go. Again, it's Japanese. I don't mind. Look how it looks stunning. And it's so well kept. Say how many years old it is. And then again, I was going into that promo card kind of era. Um, like the Venusaur Blastoise and Charles I just saw earlier. And I just, I just had to. It is, it is GBA one. Yeah, I just enjoy it. I just, Dragonite, you know, what a Pokemon. So hopefully one day it'll be a Snorlax, Dragonite, Lapras appreciation page. And of course, you've made it to the end of the video, so you get to see the, probably the, the creme de la creme of the binder and my Pokemon collection. It is the Charizard. Everyone's favorite. Giant starter, giant fire breathing starter. So, this is that CD promo I was talking about earlier. Uh, I had to get the Charizard version as well. Beautiful card. Dark Charizard from the Rocket set. A Japanese version. Uh, Blaine's Charizard. But yeah, just all these different Charizards. You know, they're not in the best of condition, especially this one. It's not in a great condition, but in a binder. You just appreciate it for what it is. It's never going to get graded. It's just going to be appreciated. Radiant Charizard from one of the newer sets. Uh, I believe this is Fire Red set. Uh, the X. That was really cool to pick up in a single. Uh, the Delta Species um, set that I was talking about earlier. I guess the Japanese version. But this is Charizard. is a completely, I believe, uh, electric energy. I could be wrong on that one. Basically, Charizard, but not its normal typing. Really cool card. Uh, paying homage to that original base set artwork and then finally to finish off the promo Charizard I believe from the third film I believe like I say you're more experts in Pokemon than me than I am sorry so you'll know where these are all from but that is my Charizard appreciation page it could expand into two but we'll see for now and just as a bonus Here's some oversized jumbo cards, mostly from celebrations. But there is this really cool one I quite enjoy. This one, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Just quite like them. All three, three Pokemon on one card. Yes, this is an official product. No, you definitely could not play it, but I just think it's kind of cool. It could be framed, but hey ho, we never know. We never know. But that does it. That leaves us at the end of our video. That was the special binders video. I hope you've enjoyed blowing through these binders with me. And I'll be back soon. So here we are. A massive thank you if you made it to the end of the video. 
Um, and I hope it's made you realise that it's okay to have fatigue and it's okay to have a little break from your hobbies now and again in collecting. It's absolutely fine. And just streamline what you actually want to collect and buy and are interested in. It's absolutely fine. I hope you enjoyed um, going through my collection and my binders and you've got a little bit more understanding of my love for Pokemon and where it comes from. Other than that, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.